but I am well, listen to that whole thing again. But I won't. We're going to go into mutilated, mutilated lips, which I have also reacted to. I think. Pretty sure. Almost positive that I reacted to a live version of this. So it's cool to be able to hear the fucking studio version, man. Because usually, when I first listen to a react to a band or when I get into a band, unless I see a band for the first time live at a show, like an opener that I never knew about or something like that, uh, I tend to just want to listen to the studio versions anyway when I start out listening to a band. Uh, while I really like the live version, I dig this fucking, you know, the reason I love the studio versions of songs usually because it's the band's attempt to play what they've played live. You know what I mean? While putting artistic spin and all these fucking effects and things in there, there's making an album. A lot of bands look at it, that as an art. You know what I mean? So I like to hear the art artistic interpretation of how a studio album sounds and the songs. So that's why. Well, you can't fucking ever say that these guys sound like anybody else. Like, they're one of those bands that can never, ever, ever be accused of uh, sounding like another band. You know what I mean? I don't know if I, if you were to play me a Ween song that I didn't know, if I would be able to say, oh, that's Ween now. You know, I'm, what, five, six songs in, half of an album. and uh, But I can tell you, I would be like, I, that doesn't sound like anybody else to me. Except fucking ween. Lips give a kiss on the wrist of the worm like tips of tentacles expanding in my mind. I'm fine accepting only fresh brine. You can get another drop of this here you wish. Mutilated lips give a kiss on the wrist of the worm like tips of tentacles expanding in my mind. I'm fine accepting only fresh brine. You can get another drop of this. Yeah. 
the hell everything!